Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm popping on just a little bit early tonight because I have a ton of things to show you, like a ton. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them, but if we don't this week, then I will definitely show them to you next week. So I hope you guys had a fabulous Christmas. Um, we had just a wonderful time. We actually celebrated Christmas with my mom and she lives a couple hours away and then we came home last Thursday and we celebrated Christmas with my stepkids and their families and Haley and her fiance um, yesterday, last night. So we were up late, there was so much laughing going on. We played games. Steve um, found a whole bunch of games online for the kids to play and he had jars, little jars of money that they won, like his coin jar. He just dumped stuff in there and they all went to the mall today shopping, so that was cool. Hi, Kate, Vicki, Tracy. You guys make sure that you leave a comment. Tell me where you're coming from. Um, you want to be entered in the drawings and that's the way that you get entered from your comments is when you, you know, just leave a comment, any comment. Hi, Lori, hi, Debbie, Marsha, welcome. Hi, Candy. So, yeah, I have a ton of things to show you, so I'm going to get started right away doing that and see how much we can get through. Um, let me bring myself up on my own screen here so that I can see your comments just a little bit better. Hang tight here. Okay. I guess we're expecting a snowstorm tomorrow morning here in Wisconsin. My stepdaughter Stephanie and her two boys were going to stay overnight again, but she doesn't like to drive in bad weather so um, they're leaving right now I already said my goodbyes <laughs> but I was sad that they were leaving she bought me a new waffle iron and um, my family growing up we are big big breakfast people so we do homemade buttermilk pancakes and homemade waffles and I have been using a waffle iron for pro iron probably for 20 years that the handle broke off. It's a round one and you open it up with the handle. So I have to take a pot holder and a fork and stick it in there to open it up every time. <laughs> so Stephanie brought, bought me a big square one for Christmas and I was gonna make homemade waffles tomorrow morning for breakfast, but now the kids are leaving, so I'm kind of sad. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you guys had just a fabulous Christmas. It's always fun to spend time with friends and family. All my aunts and uncles come over to my mom's house. Um, I shouldn't say all because there's like eight kids in that family. But um, we just have a really good time and play games and laugh and giggle and catch up and fabulous. Hi Sandy. Hi Sarah. Make sure you're sharing my video. Um, click on that share button. You can do that right now. I really appreciate it. And click on that like button because that um, also helps me out a little bit there. Hi Maggie, Joyce, welcome. Okay, I am going to show you some of the cool stuff that I got. I got beautiful cards. I received a few gifts, which is just like really heartwarming. Um, first of all, I'm going to start you off with this little jewel. Look at this. Now, I have to tell you, um, this is from my friend Linda in Arizona. And this little French fry box, let's see if I can get it in here. I know, isn't it beautiful? It was filled with these little candies. So they were all filled and stacked up in here just perfect. And as you can see, my husband likes them. <laughs> so he ate all of them. <laughs> I did get to eat one and I have two left and I'm hiding them. So yeah, and that's from Linda. And isn't this just so beautiful? What a gorgeous, gorgeous gift, right? It uses that um, pretty floral paper. Yeah, so pretty. Hi, Carol. Hi, Sarah. Okay. Next, Linda sent this, and I was just so amazed at the detail of this. Okay, so we don't even need to get to what's inside. <laughs> it's all about the packaging for us, isn't it? Um, she made this box. Like, this is a homemade box, and let me open it up for you. This is a belly band that she's got on there, and isn't this just beautiful? Using the uh, Winter Woods bundle and um, Dashing Deer. Okay, so then we're gonna take the lid off the box and this just floored me. Like all the detail just floored me. So we've got it packed with some foam here. 
here's, um, hang on a second, this is stuck. Oh, it's tied in here. Here's the little card that she made with it using the Wishing You Well stamp set. And then it's a mug cake in here. And so the ingredients are in here on how to make the mug cake. Okay, so we've got that going on. And then if you look inside this box, she used one of our flower framelits to punch this out so that the top of the bag could pop through it. I know, right? And then here is the mug, the cake in a mug. It's got the, um, the batter in there and then the ingredient or the, uh, let's see, what do you have to do to it? Three level tablespoons of mix, two tablespoons of water and stir. Add chocolate chips to the top. Microwave for one minute. And this is enough to make four cake mugs. Mug cakes. I keep saying it wrong. Mug cakes. Isn't that just the coolest? And Linda was so sweet. Um, she made one for Steve and for me. So I actually received two of these. And just, wow. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Hi, Nordine. <laughs> Porno means something different here in the U.S. <laughs> I think that may be a greeting where you're from. Let us know where you're coming from. Okay. Oh, and I see you guys are talking about football. Yeah, our um, Packers got their butts handed to them today. It was really pathetic. Couldn't even watch it. Um, yeah, not a good game. But I'm happy for the rest of you that are enjoying your football teams winning. My... Um, granddaughter and her dad are huge Bears fans so they came over here for breakfast this morning and were wearing their Bear jerseys and the Bears are doing very well and I'm assuming they won I didn't watch the whole game but yeah okay next from Linda we also received this this cute little thing it's like a little wallet I think it's got an Andy's mint in it and a little greeting over here look at this oh <laughs> Go Hawks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, she got a little little cut in there. <laughs> but super cute little item. And then this one is a Ghirardelli holder that she made. And isn't this cute? This uses the Santa's Workshop paper. I just gave a um, pack of that away today on my VIP Facebook group. So that's cool. She gave me a couple of these. Super, super cute. And then this little purse. I know, right? <laughs> it's got some Hershey nuggets in it using that beautiful paper that sold out right away. Yeah, I thought this was super cute too. Okay, let me move these aside. I had Heather. I didn't see if Heather is on here tonight, but I had Heather pop by. And look at this card. It's an acetate card or a window sheet card that she made. And um, she dropped off a gift and wished uh, Steve and I a very Merry Christmas. She heard me on my VIP group talking about my wall of words. My friend Denise, who's also a huge stamper, has a wall of words in her um, kitchen. And I want to do my wall in my kitchen with a wall of words. So all these wood um, blocks. And I had... Um, messaged Denise and asked her to send me a picture of her wall of words so that I could send it to the kids because you know they're like what can we get you for Christmas what can we get so I told them I want these word these wooden word things and so my friend Denise happened to be at Shopco when I asked her for that picture and she stopped by and brought me this so, oh my gosh it's wonderful to be loved isn't it all right and then I don't know where the card is let me pack some of the stuff up so I can move it these are so precious. I just love them. Um, I'll find the card for this, but my friend Sarah, she's also one of my team members, brought over this metal create. And isn't this cool? I'm going to hang this in my office someplace. I just love it. It's got two hangers on the back of it. Love, love, love. All right. I'll show you guys some cards. We'll see how far we can get. I came on early, so I would be able to do that. Oh, um, Maureen Horwas, if you're watching, I got your card back. I need to figure out what's going on. Your dress must be wrong. Okay, we've got this beautiful card from, oh my gosh, and her kids are so cute, from Alyssa Thompson. Alyssa, I think you're watching tonight. This is so very pretty, and look at how cute her kids are. <laughs> just adorable, and she sent me just the nicest note. So, um... 
Yeah, she says sometimes, so it says, thank you for all you do. Sunday night stamping with Kelly has become a weekly tradition. Sometimes the whole family gathers around to see what you are making and what mommy, me, is going to learn. Merry Christmas, Alyssa. That is just so sweet. Thank you so much. And then we have this card, and look at it, it looks like a jar. And, um, oh, I think, I, here we go, look at that. And I think this is from Rose Bell. Yes, very, very creative. Thank you, Rose. And then my mom made her Christmas cards. And my mom is not a stamper. But um, I started making her photo cards a long time ago. And so this is the card that she sent me. And this is a photo that she took, and then she layers it on some cardstock. And um, this is actually the chapel where my father is buried. So he's buried in the yard by the chapel, and this is right up the road from my mom's house. So what a, just a beautiful, um, a beautiful photograph that she took. So yay, mom, she's doing good too. My mom was really, really sick right before Christmas. So she didn't come yesterday to celebrate um, with us and the kids, but she's she's doing better. She got a chest cold that turned into double ear infections and she can't hear very good and it was horrible. But anyways, okay, so who's this card from? This is from June Franco. Check this out, ready? Boop, hello. <laughs> this is called a wiper card and they are super cute and fun. Maybe um, I'll set this aside. I'll show you how to make one of those maybe next week. So <laughs> they're really cute. And then June crocheted this for me and it's got a pin back on it so that I can wear it. I, I'm going to put this with my um, light bulb uh, headband that I have so that I make sure I'm able to pull this out next holiday season. So thank you, June. So sweet. And then we've got Shelby White. Shelby made this card. Do you guys recognize this layout? What a great card she made with this layout I shared with you guys. Very, very cool. And then we have, oh, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, I hope my mom's feeling better too because she sure was sick. Okay, so then this is from Linda Bunce who gave me all those um, precious gifts. Look at that. That's really cool. Now, this opens up and it's suspended, that little granny. And when you make one of these, you take this and twist it up. It's on like fishing line in there, so you um, can't hardly see it. You close your card and then watch when I open it. Let's see if I can do this backwards. This is kind of tricky, ready? <laughs> I'll set this one aside too, because we may have to make one of those. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Wendy Sue, welcome. Oh, she's in sunny California for her 15th anniversary. Good for you. You're gonna avoid the storm tomorrow. Wendy um, Sue is from Rhinelander, which is kind of northwest of me. Oh, Megan's asking, how is Steve feeling? Well, Megan, they um, pounded him with steroids and he is great. He is feeling fantastic. And now they gotta kind of wean him off the steroids and then we'll see what happens there. But so far, so good. He's doing really well. And can I just say that, you know, I've done all this Christmas stuff by myself all of it for 20 some years and he wrapped all the Christmas presents he made most of the food for our celebration yesterday he cleaned up all the kitchen the mess that he did dishes so many times I was making food he was doing dishes and I was like oh my god it was so nice to have help and you you ladies know what I'm talking about because we do all this ourselves and have for a million years and it was just really nice to have some help with all of it. So, yeah. Does Linda have a blog? No, Linda does not have a blog um, for instructions on that stuff. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. This card. Isn't this just pretty? I love the details in the stars right here. This is just so, so very pretty. And this is from one of my good customers, Sierra Bouchard. I always say her... Bruchaud, I think. I say her last name wrong, and she knows that. <laughs> I do it every time. Um, that's a really pretty card. And then I've got another one here from Charlotte. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty card. Oh, my daughter loved her Christmas present. I made her that framed art. She absolutely loved it. So thanks for asking. Kathy, can you send your husband for lessons? 
I don't know if I want to deal with all that. <laughs> I know they could all use a few lessons. Um, here's another card from Christine Trimble. Did I say that right? Yep, I think I did. And isn't that pretty? Very vibrant. Love that reindeer, right? Here comes another one. And this is from Mary Amelia. Very, very cute. Look at the snowman and the Santa. Oh, and her envelope was lined. Love that. I think these, this stamp is from one of the paper pumpkin kits. So I'm glad to see Mary using the stamp sets, right? Here comes another one, and this is from Irene Cuts, and this is from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. So very, very pretty card there, too. Okay, let me move these aside. I will grab a few more. Oh, I had to show you guys this one. This is my, these. Um, this family used to live right next door to us, and it was funny because you remember um, Tim the Tool Man Taylor and that show that he had a long time ago where the guy used to pop half his face up over the fence and they called him Wilson. Well, next door was um, Glenn and we always called him Wilson because he would pop his head up over the fence and talk to us. So this is his daughter, Dakota. They lived next door to us for a very long time and she made this card. This is some, whoops, some crepe paper and she's got a picture of her and her husband there and um, I, she has it looks like an individual letter stamp she put some snowflakes on there and just did a fabulous job right making her homemade card so I was really proud to see that um, oh a photo card I love these two that's my brother Jeff and his wife Barb and their little dog named Lily and they took her for Santa pictures so I thought that was really cute then I got a card from one of my friends and team members Christine and isn't this pretty Christine Bertram gorgeous gorgeous card uh, Diana Lobbs made this one. Oh, I love that poinsettia. Isn't it so pretty and she like embossed with black embossing powder the um, detail on the poinsettia. So also very pretty. I'm trying to catch all your guys' comments. Hi, Leanne. Uh, this one is from Beth Lottie. Very, very pretty card. And yeah, she used white embossing powder on there. Very pretty. Um, Wayne and Diane DeGrand, they're my neighbors. I thought this was a pretty card. Gorgeous. Um, oh, here's another really neat one. This is from Carolee Crab. She's a demonstrator friend of mine. And okay, so watch this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, pretty fancy, Carolee, if you're watching. And oh, this is a pretty one too. This is from oh, this is from Sarah who gave me the create word. Sarah's one of my friends. Oops, look at I bent it. And one of my demonstrators, she's on my team. Very, very pretty. Loved this. Here comes another one. This is from Luann Lee. Luann is one of my customers and friends. I always like to talk, call my customers my friends too, right? Because you get to you get to know them. She was in my stamp club, and I love the stamp clubs because you really do get to know people better than just seeing them once in a while. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. Um, got just a few more left. I've got a card from Lori, and again, this was done with the paper pumpkin kit. Here comes a card from Bernie Seidel. Oh, oh, I say your last name wrong too, Bernie. Seidel, Bernie Seidel, isn't that pretty? Then this is really cool. This one is from Carol Smet, and Carol is one of my customers. And let me tell you what they called this. She put a little note in here. I'm gonna just hold this up here so you can see it. Um, it says the technique is called pin embroidery. P embroidery? Pin embroidery, I believe is what it's called. These are all stitches. Those are all stitches to make all these things. On that tufted um, embossing folder, holy cow, right? This is just beautiful. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And then, oh, this is from my friend Sue Bolden. Look at her little reindeer. 
Is that not the cutest thing? This is our sprig punch. And Sue says, Kelly, when I first saw the sprig punch, I didn't think of embellishing florals with sprigs, but I thought of antlers. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Sue always sends me funny stuff, so it was kind of cute. Here's another really cute one from my friend and customer, Elaine Reback. Very, very cute. And she's got some um, sparkles on her snowman. Just love this. And then Sarah New. Sarah's on here tonight. Look at how pretty her card is. Beautiful with the winter woods and the dashing deer. Love, love, love. And I think this is the last one, you guys. This is from Claudia Swakowski. She's also a friend and customer, and she was one of my team members. I think she's not anymore. But um, with Celebration coming up, she probably will be again. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Just love it. Okay, those are all the cards that I got. Now, I did a drawing to see um, who was going to win from last week. Hang tight. I'm going to get these out of my way so that I can have some room to do some things, right? Okay, and I'm going to move the create, and I don't want to bend this. So I'll just lay that I think I'll set it right there for now. Get that card out of there. Get out of there. There we go. All right, and then I'll get some nails in here so I can hang that up. All right, let's see. Um, big, big, big news, of course. You guys know that our Occasions Mini Catalog and Celebration brochures go live January 3rd. And that is one, two, three, Thursday. I can't hardly wait. I have been making so many things. I have so many swap cards. I think I ended up with um, doing about 120 swap cards. And I also have a thing going on with some other demonstrators that um, we've collaborated. So we each make a card using one of the suites. Or all, it's for all the suites in the mini catalog. But... Um, each person, like I today made one for the Gingham Gala suite in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and then I type up a project sheet and take photos, and I share that with this group of demonstrators. And so at the end, which today's the deadline, I know I just got that done before I came on live. <laughs> Nothing like waiting for the last minute. Um, but then there's going to be a whole bunch of different projects submitted from different people for the Gingham Gala suite. And the um, whatever that car suite is called, and all the suites that are in the catalog are gonna have. We're gonna. I will have access to a whole bunch of different ideas using them, so that when you order one of those suites from me, if we have that in this project suite group, I will be able to send you a whole bunch of project sheets for ideas. So. That's one of the things that I love to participate in because it's a win for me because I don't have to work as hard because I have other people coming up with ideas using the same bundle of products. And it's a win-win for you because as your demonstrator, when you order from me, I am able to gift those types of things to you and I just love doing that. So um, that's one thing that's happening. Now, I am still not allowed to show you the inside of these catalogs because we're not allowed to do that until January 3rd. But Celebration starts on January 3rd. And Celebration, when you spend $50, for every $50 you spend, you get to choose an item out of this brochure. If you have placed an order with me in the last six months, you should have received these in the mail. Now, this one was arriving last week already. This one was a little slower. So um, for the people who have been contacting me saying I didn't get my mini catalog yet, I've been telling everybody, give it until Monday. If your mail comes on Monday and you still don't have one, then contact me and I will um, get another set out in the mail to you. <laughs> Vicki just asked, where do I get my energy? Well, I'm kind of high energy anyways. Like, I'm one of those people that can't just sit and do anything. You will, like, rarely ever find me just sitting and watching TV. Like, that to me is a waste of my life. Um, I will sit and watch TV and knit or crochet or make cards or, you know, whatever. But I just can't sit around doing nothing. So, and I drink Pepsi, which that's coming to an end. What are you guys drinking tonight? Hmm? 
This brings so much joy to my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quit that here shortly because I've almost gained about most of the weight that I lost back. I lost like 16 or 18 pounds this summer. I gained most of it back, so that's got to end. Yeah. So anyways, if you don't have this by Monday, let me know. And you've placed an order with me in the last six months because I'll get you out, out a new one. And when you let me know, please don't make me play 20 questions with you. So say... I got the celebration brochure, but I didn't get the other mini catalog or the occasions mini or whatever it is. Um, don't make me email you back and say, well, did you get the other one? Just give me all the information. You, you got this one, but you didn't get this one so that I can get it in the mail right away. Yeah, I know. No more Pepsi. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think it's really making me fat and um, I don't like that. So yeah, I got I to gotta lose some weight again. I'll, I'll keep you updated on all that. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Chris is drinking water. Water sucks the joy right out of my life. <laughs> Anyhow, um, watch for these. Now, if you don't get yours in the mail before January 3rd, don't panic. On my blog and all over my Facebook pages, you guys are going to see links to the online version of these catalogs. So you can go online and look at them. I know it's always better to have one in your hand and I will get them to you if you don't get them. Um, so just know that. Heather didn't get either one of the catalogs. Wait for your mail tomorrow, Heather, and if you didn't get either one, let me know because you should have. For those of you that are local, I do have the mini catalogs here, like my stockpile of them. I ordered a ton of them. So, um, I can let you drop by and pick them up, but I don't have them ready yet. So um, just wait until you hear from me and check your mail tomorrow. Okay, winners from the last time I was live was, oh, was it the 16th? No, I was live on the, no, I wasn't live last week. So the 16th, I was thinking it was the 23rd. Um, we have winners and our winner for Making a comment, leaving a comment here, just like you're doing, is D Esplana from, how do I say that? Um, I don't know. She's from Texas. <laughs> and D is going to win the polka dot tool ribbon. This is that really, really pretty ribbon. So congratulations, D. And then for sharing this video, and as long as we're talking about that, you know, um, sharing is caring. So if you click that share button right now, that'll get you another entry into my drawings. I have the Best Route Memories and More card pack. And this, the winner is Ruth Miller from Plymouth, Wisconsin. So congratulations, Ruth. I will be getting these in the mail to you tomorrow. And then the third drawing is for placing orders. And the person who is going to win the Botanical Bliss stamp set along with the Botanical Tag Thinlets, I don't know, this is like a $50 value, you get both of these, is Nell Diamond of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So congratulations to all of you. I am so happy to be able to give these items away because I really do appreciate your following me, your wonderful kind comments. Um, I can't even tell you. It just is near and dear to my heart. So thank you so much. Um, I have some people that ordered gift cards. If you ordered gift cards the way that you or gift certificates, I should say, the way that you place those orders is through me. So you're going to email me your order. I'm going to put it in and I will pay for the amount of the um, gift card. It's Coparis Cove, Texas. Thank you, Dee. I'm glad you're watching tonight. Oh, I don't have the Cove part on here. Hang on. I don't want that to get lost anyplace. I'm going to write that down here. Cove. I missed the Cove on there. So thank you. Congratulations. Um, so anyways, if you did order gift cards for anybody, they need to place their orders through me. So just contact me. We'll take care of that. And then don't forget, I have my online club. And this month, oh, let me show you. This month, our, it's a technique club is what it is. And hang on just a second here. I'm going to grab the technique card. So each month, you place a minimum $25 order, 
and you do that every month for six months and then you get a $30 product credit at the end to order anything that you want. And then each month when you do that, I will send you a technique card. And this is our technique card for December. And this is a background technique where you're just using stamps to make your own background paper. And then I also send you a card made with that technique. So here is the little So Happy, So Happy for You, I think it's called, stamp set. And this is one of the free celebration items that you can get with your $50 order starting January 3rd. So my VIP, or this is my online club, each month you get a card, whoops, a card made with the technique and a technique card explaining how to do it. So after you accumulate a bunch of these, you end up with a whole booklet. You can put these like on a big ring, but this is a whole booklet of techniques. So when I need to do something creative, I can come here and say, oh, basket weave folding technique. I think I'll make a card with that. I have this whole this whole bunch of different techniques. This is a spinner card, and this spins back and forth. Um, so that's what that's all about. If you'd like information about my online club, just pop me an email. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com, and I will send you all the information. You can decide if that's something that you would enjoy. I've got a lot of people joining that club now. Um, it's a way for you to participate when you don't live close enough to come to my live events. So it's pretty cool. And you get a good bonus at the end, right? <laughs> okay, some of the things that I made between the last time I saw you, this was the paper pumpkin kit for December. And I absolutely love it. I love these kind of tiny little images. They are so much fun. Yeah. So these are the cards that I made using the kit. And, oh, I don't know where my calendar is. It was actually a little calendar. So these are alternate ideas. Yeah, I don't know what I did with that. No clue. It's here someplace. <laughs> and Kathy says she was a Pepsi-holic, too. Yeah, I know. I kind of live on this stuff. Um, anyways. Oh, look it. I didn't have to get up and get that because I had it right here. Yeah, I should pay attention to what I'm doing. So along with these super, super dupe alternate cards that I made with the paper pumpkin kit. I also made this little jewel and this is a slanted or sloping box. Super cute, right? And if you remember from my blog hop, I did, <laughs> I love him <laughs> with the wobbler. Yeah, this is the spirited snowman. I used the cable knit in the background and then I also used the cable knit on this little sloping box to go with that birthday card. My snowman was a birthday card. Here's the inside of my box. Whoops, there goes a candy kiss. So I just put one of my business cards in here, but here's the box. I've got a bunch of candy kisses in there, and isn't this just precious? I, I had so much fun making this, but what a great little gift. And this box looks really hard, you guys, but if you go on my blog, you'll find all the um, instructions um, from last Thursday to make your own super duper easy. Like it really is easy. Oh, and it's Robin's first time watching me live. Welcome Robin. Then we have this cute little box. This was shared. Uh, let me share the cards first. So um, does anybody remember the name of the stamp set is called uh, Incredible You or something like that. So Oops, <laughs> this is hard. Here's the cards. These are note cards and envelopes. And this was my project for my Friday blog hop with the global blog hoppers. And I made a whole set of these little cards with matching envelopes. Whoops, there we go. And then I made this box for them to all fit in. Now, the box is something that is exclusive just to my VIP Facebook people. How do you become a VIP, VIP Facebook person? In my group, you place an order with me. And I had demonstrators saying, oh, I can't do that because I'm a demonstrator. I also had people from other countries saying, I can't order from you because we can't sell across borders. I have online classes on my blog, right-hand column. Click on online classes. You'll find all kinds of them there. 
All you have to do is place an order for product or an online class and that'll grant you access to this VIP group. And I have to tell you, for those of you that have been in the VIP group and seeing all the exclusive projects that I've been sharing with you over the last couple weeks and all the product I've been giving away, what do you guys think of it? Have you been having a good time? Because I know some of you are on here tonight. So that's what that's all about. And that's how you get into my VIP group is by placing an order. That is reserved for my customers that order from me. Whether it's product or online classes, it'll get you in. Okay. I sent out all the calendar kits this week. Um, let me grab one here. Remember the calendar kits that I made? I had a special where if you placed a $35 order between the 16th of December and Christmas, um, I would send you a kit. Those kits all went out on Friday morning, I think, the 27th, Thursday, maybe third Friday morning they did. I'm sticking with that. <laughs> yeah, so those kits all went out. Um, have fun with them. I hope you enjoy them. I had a lot of fun putting them together. Okay, are we ready to stamp? I think we're ready to stamp. Okay, I have some very cool, oh, I'm gonna plug my phone in. Hang on here. And Kathy Adams says that VIP group is the place to be. It is a lot of fun. Um, Joanne, I come on there. So Joanne just asked, what time is my VIP class? And um, it's no particular time. I will just pop in live whenever. And you do not need to watch me live to be able to be entered in the drawings for the product that I'm giving away at all. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment under the video. And once I'm done with the video on my VIP group, I post it to that page. So it's always there for you to go back and refer to. So you don't have to watch me live and I don't have a schedule and that's what works really good for me because I never know what's going on around here, right? <laughs> so I just pop in. One night I popped in at like 9.30 at night and I found out who my night owls were. Um, you're never gonna see me pop in real early in the morning. <laughs> I'll tell you that because I don't get up real early. But um, what if we are demonstrators already for your VIP group? Um, not quite sure. Kimberly, I think you're asking if you're already a demonstrator, how do you get into the VIP group? If that's your question, I just said that you need to either place an order with me or you can order one of my online classes that will grant you access. So whether you're a demonstrator or not, you have to do that to get in. Um, okay, I have a super cute card to share with you. And I'm going to use the Wishing You Well stamp set because this is like one of my favorites out of our Occasions mini catalog. It is carrying over so you can continue to order it after the holiday mini catalog. Did I say Occasions mini? I mean holiday mini catalog. After the holiday mini catalog is over with on January 2nd, I think, or 3rd. I don't know. Maybe it does go through the 3rd. Let me look. I don't want to give you guys bad information. Hang on. I have occasions, occasions, where's my holiday? Here it is. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got it on a shelf down here. It's not just laying on the floor. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. I'm so glad you're popping in here. Um, are you in Florida right now or are you home in Wisconsin? Okay. January 2nd. This, this one ends. So that's where the Wishing You Well stamp set comes from. Here's the set. Um, lovely, lovely set, you guys. Oh my gosh, there are so many beautiful things that have been made with this. Hi, Andrea. Welcome. Okay, and Susan's asking, where do I find the VIP club spot? You have to email me and ask for the information and I will send it to you. Otherwise, if you go to my blog and you go to down just above my signature on each blog post is um, something about a VIP online club. So just click on that and um, that'll get you the information. But you can email me, kelly at a stamp above.com and you will, I can email you the information for it. Okay, I'm gonna flip my phone so we can get busy stamping here. Hang tight. 
Here we go. That was pretty seamless, wasn't it? We'll see if I can keep you on live. If you get lost, if I lose you for some reason. Okay, I gotta flip you around, so hang on. Where did that go? Right here. And we're gonna do that and that. Everything looking okay, you guys? I'll get this out of the glare. I hate that when these glare at you. Okay. I think we look pretty good. Yay, me! All right, now I have to start watching my laptop because before I could see your comments. And now I can't. So if I missed any questions, um, just ask me again, okay? Because sometimes that happens. All right, I am going to get started here with our card layers. I always like to tell you what the dimensions are first. And just know that when I am done with this video, I will post it to our Facebook page that you're watching right now. And I also have typed up all the dimensions for the projects I'm going to show you tonight. And I will quickly add that in above the video so it'll all be there for you okay so you don't need to worry about keeping track of all that so the first thing I've got here is some berry burst I love this color and it's I was talking to my stepdaughter tonight and she goes oh that's a pretty merlot I'm like no it's not merlot <laughs> I said it's berry burst or it's blackberry bliss and it's not really either but it's really pretty I love this little jacket and it goes good with my stampin up t-shirt the gray one so this is five and a half by eight and a half, and I am going to fold it in half so we're ready with this. Then I have a piece of berry burst, and this is four by five and a half. Now, watch that dimension because most of the time when we have a layer for the front or the inside, it's four by five and a quarter. But we're going to be using the corrugated embossing folder on this layer, and that, because it makes your... How am I going to do this so you can see it? Because it makes your stuff go like this. It kind of scrunches up and takes away some of that dimension. So this is five and a half by four. A little different. Then I've got a piece of um, vellum cardstock. And you guys, I love our vellum cardstock. Vellum is a very flimsy, see-through, opaque type um, material. Our cardstock is much thicker than the vellum you buy other places. So that's why I love it so much. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside of our card. You're going to need... Um, <clears throat> A Whisper White scrap and a um, Berry Burst scrap so that way you can die cut an oval from the Stitch Shapes oval and also the um, layering ovals. I've got the scallop one here. Okay, we're going to do our stamping first. And again, we're using the Wishing You Well stamp set. And I've got Berry Burst and um, Granny Apple Green. And before I get too much further, if you're coming on now, please make sure you share my video. Click on that share button. Click on the like button. And um, when you're placing your orders, you're going to be using this host code if your order is under $150. And you'll find the ordering online at my blog, stampabove.com. Now, this host code is going to be changing on Tuesday. So you'll always find that host code with my little owl in the right column on my blog. So you just go to my blog, scroll till you see this owl emblem, and you'll see the December host code. On, on Tuesday, it's going to be the January host code. So it changes each month, just so you know that I've had a lot of people asking me questions about that recently. Okay, we're going to do our stamping, and I've got this beautiful bouquet that I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green in. Thank you guys for the share. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to just stamp this on that oval. And isn't that, it's just so pretty. It's just a very pretty um, bouquet. Now, these flowers that are in this stamp set, super duper easy to stamp with. You don't need to overthink these. You ink them up and you just stamp them. Notice how I didn't take any time on where I was going to place it. I just stamped it right in there and it looks perfect every single time. I love the, how easy this is. Then I've got this gorgeous bow and a little funny story about the bow. 
So many people asked me on some of the projects I posted using this stamp set if this bow was um, real ribbon or if it was a stamp because it looked so real. And it really is a stamp. And I'm just going to wipe off the edge here. I got edges. I can see I pushed a little too hard. Okay, here we go. Now, I need to look at this and know that it needs to move a little bit that way. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Do you see the edge? I did the edge. That's not going to work. Should we do that again? Yeah, I can't. I can't finish this card looking like that. But guess what? This is so simple that we can quickly do it again very easily. You can make a ton of these cards in all different colors. Look how cute that is. Now we're going to come in with that bow again. I need to trim this stamp because I don't like edges at all. And we're going to move this over just a little bit. Ah! Oh, great. I'm really blowing it tonight. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we're going with this side. I'm actually going to replace that. You guys get the get the um, idea, right? And as long as I've got this out, this is one that I, I never had that problem with this, with the other cards that I made, but I'm going to show you what to do about this. You see all this extra rubber right here? Just cut it off. And I had um, one of my customers one time go, oh, I didn't know you could cut that. And I'm like, well, you own it. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> if it's yours, don't ever cut anybody else's stamp. So like if you ever go to somebody's class, like if you're at my class, don't ever alter any of my products. I had some people who um, cut the ends off my aqua painters because they thought they were too, they weren't tapered enough. So they cut them with their scissors. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? So don't ever do that. <laughs> don't do that. But um, if it's your product, you can certainly trim that. And now, see, I'm not going to get those edges like I got on this one, which is, you know, very frustrating. Look at perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Anyways, I'll fix this later, but I'm just going to continue on with the card because I don't have another oval cut out, and I'll just barely glue it on there, and we'll be fine. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is I like to add just a little something, something to the inside of my card. You guys know this, right? And I'm just going to put my bouquet there. And again, don't overthink those flowers. Just stamp them. And they're perfect every single time. Okay, and Mercy says, does anyone have any problems with over-inking distinctive stamps when using the foam ink pads? Okay, that's a great question. And let me talk to you about that. So the distinctive ink, the distinctive stamps are uh, like this one. Like this is this is one of them. I'm whoops, sorry. The bow, it looks real. And if you have too much juice in your ink pad, it will not give you that beautiful detail. Okay? Here's what you do. They taught us this at um, convention. And you're going to take a credit card or a bone folder. Now, the bone folder will stain, so just know that. But um, do I have any? I thought I had a gift card here someplace. I've got a whole bunch of ideas stacked up here for you guys. Let me grab a gift card quickly. Yeah, I got this old Amazon card here. But you can use a bone folder or a credit card. And what you want to do when you're using these um, distinctive stamps and they're not giving you the definition that you want, you want to push your ink to the side because these ink pads are juicy, which we love for regular stamps. But when we are using the distinctive, which is like almost real looking, they don't work that great because there's too much ink in them. Now, do you see my ink pad? You can see that all the ink is pushed over to the edge. Now you can stamp in there and have your image turn out absolutely perfect because you've got less ink in the middle, okay? That's what you do to get your good images for the distinctive stamps. And I'm glad you asked that question because, um, yeah, I want you guys to be having fun with these, right? And I'm just going to push my ink back in there and we should be good. Look, at I already messed up this whole thing. Oh, look, a little green. Oh, I got a little green on my fingernail. Yep, it's a successful night, you guys. I've got ink everywhere. <laughs> Okay, 
So now that we've got that done, one more thing I want to stamp is um, I've also got a black stays on pad here. Now, vellum is a non porous surface, right? So your regular inks aren't going to dry on there. You're going to need a uh, permanent ink like stays on, and we do sell this. And I'm going to stamp this here so I can make sure it's right side up. And then I'm going to stamp this right. Let me stand up so I can make sure that I'm getting this straight. Maybe. Oh, it looks perfect. Okay. You want to close up these stays on pads right away. You don't leave them open like I do the other pads because they, um, they dry up quickly. They're a very fast drying permanent ink. Okay. So here's our piece of vellum. And now we're going to take this front layer that was five and a half by four and we're gonna run it through the corrugated embossing folder. And again, this is an embossing folder that will be available after the holiday mini catalog retires. Um, and you're going to, I put mine in here so that the stripes are gonna run horizontally. I always have to think about that word before I say it. <laughs> okay, run it through the big shot and through the power of TV. Yeah, um, I've got this done. I'm just looking, somebody just messaged me and she doesn't know I'm live right now, so I can't answer her questions. Um, <laughs> anyways, okay, so we're gonna take this and I just love this corrugated look. Do you remember the old, what did they call those? Um, uh, what were those corrugator things called? They were so cool, loved them. And I like to use the liquid glue because you know, it's gonna work better to adhere a layer like this that has so much embossing on it. And this is just gonna be a tone on tone. Don't you love it already? Yeah. No, it was a crimper. Yes, thank you, Marsha. And somebody else said it too, but you just rolled up. So a paper crimper, that's exactly what this is like, only it's an embossing folder. And you can put your cardstock in here so that it will emboss with the horizontal lines or vertical lines. So that's really cool. And this is one of those dynamic folders, so it's um, extra deep embossing. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my glue and I'm going to put it right in the middle. You don't want to put your glue around the outside edge because you can see through this. And I don't want to see my glue on here. I'm going to center this right on the front of my card. And this is one of the neat things that I wanted to show you tonight is the power of that vellum as a layer under your images is just a really, really neat effect. So I'm gonna take this, and like I said, I told you guys I'm only gonna put a little bit of glue on here because I gotta make a new one. I can't use this. It's got that line on it, but I wanna show you the finished product here. And then you're going to um, let's see, do I want to use dimensionals? I think I do. I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back of this. And we're going to cover up that glue that we have here. Yeah, Carol says the folder is way easier than the crimper. And you got that right. Because sometimes you would put your paper in there and you'd start cranking it and it would make it crooked. And, oh, it was so frustrating, wasn't it? So, yeah, you are absolutely right. Okay, ready? <gasps> Like I said, isn't that just a really, hang on, I got it crooked. Isn't that a really neat look under your layer? Now, it's only glued in the middle, okay, because you don't want to see any glue. They say that they have vellum tape and all this other stuff. Don't waste your money. It doesn't work. None of it works. It's just, it's garbage. Just do what I did here, and you will be very happy. And here's our inside. And now we have a really quick and easy card. Just a note, this is good to send to anybody you might, might need a card for. Right? Super pretty. Now, the original card that I made, I didn't use this scalloped layer under it. Which one do you guys like better? Let me know. Do you like the scallop with the scallop or without the scallop? This one is a lot more simple. And I think this really dresses it up. I don't know. I think they're both pretty cool. 
Yeah, okay, so let's move on. I'm excited. Let me clean up this stuff here. All right. All this put away. Remember, wishing you well. There's some beautiful cards um, using this wreath too. This is just such a great stamp set and I love the fonts. These are funky fonts. I love them. Okay. And then I wanted to show you a sneak peek using that Ga Gingham Gala product suite. So I'll lay this out here. Here's our stamp set. There's our sequins. We've got all these little cutie patooties. Look at the punch. Ah, I know, butterflies are back. Yay. I'm excited. And then I have a whole bunch of colors. I made the card that I'm going to show you with all the colors using the um, gingham or the butterfly gala stamp set and the gingham gala designer series paper. So let's take a look at this first because this is pretty darn cool. Ready? Yeah, it comes in five different colors. We've got Grapefruit Grove, Highland Heather, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, and Balmy Blue. Yeah, that's five colors, right? Yeah. So one side is Big Gingham. The other side is Little Gingham. Gingham is back. You're going to see this in your stores. You're going to see it in your home decor. You're probably going to start seeing it in clothing, pillows, bedroom sets. Gingham is back. So... I'm excited about that because this is some pretty cool stuff. Then we've got this Butterfly Gala. You've got five different greetings in here. And then there's like stained glass butterflies. Here's like a monarch butterfly. And um, this one is just kind of some leaves that's really unique looking. So you can stamp this in your, in your black color or your dark color. And then you can come in with your colored colors and stamp your butterfly or you can color it in if you want to but you don't you don't have to you've also got the body and the antennas and a little butterfly here and then you've got the body and antennas for the little butterfly these are for the big ones super super fun stamp set and then we have this punch and these stamps are mounted so that when you stamp them, the punch goes in and punches out both of them perfectly every time. Well, as long as you get it lined up right, right? Okay, let me bring in, I'm going to do a lime green card and then I'm going to show you the other colors that I made today. I actually woke up this morning and didn't feel that great. I made breakfast for all the kids and they went shopping and I went and took a nap. because My stomach felt kind of funny, so I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get ready for Facebook Live? But guess what? I came in here about 3.30 and bam, 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 everything fell together. So <laughs> it's a really lucky day. Yeah, I was pretty happy about that. Oh, I see that my computer isn't keeping up again. If anybody asks me a question, my computer was lagging, um, ask it again and I will watch. Okay, I have a piece of Lemon Lime Twist. This is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half. I've got a scrap of white and a scrap of black. I'm using this cute Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. This is three and a half by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna glue this right onto our black layer, which is three and three quarters by five and a half. And if you tuned in to me late, I will have all of these dimensions above the video. Once the video is over and I post it to my Facebook page and save it there, I will put all these dimensions in there. So if you wanna recreate these cards, it'll be super easy for you. Okay, and then this one is gonna go right on the front of my card. Super, super easy, quick little card. I made these. It didn't take me that long to make any of them. It was really fun. Um, I'm going to trim this because this is a little long. 
It's hard to get things perfectly measured, isn't it? Something that I struggle with. So then I just trim them like that and they look great. <laughs> okay, so far so good. This is the layer for the inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this butterfly. This is kind of like, I call this my hippie butterfly because it kind of looks like a hippie print. And the butterflies are far enough away from each other that you can ink up just one of them. I'm gonna stamp that right there. Oh look, I had some residue left over from when I cleaned this. Hang on. Let me get that cleaned off. So here's what I recommend you do. Clean your stamp. Yeah, we're gonna have all kinds of tips. That's, that's why these mistakes happen, right? Stamp it off a couple times and then you won't have any residue left there. I'm gonna turn this over. We're gonna try this again. That's why we have two pieces, two sides to every piece, right? <laughs> Just for that reason, I know those paper manufacturers are like, yeah, let's make sure that we put um, the same coating on the other side of the cardstock so that Kelly and all her friends <laughs> don't have any problems. They could use both sides. Okay, so we've got this done. Now I'm gonna bring in the white scrap and I'm going to stamp both butterflies and I'm gonna do it you know, fairly close to the edge because we're gonna be bringing in a punch here. And then I just need that little butterfly because I need two of those. Isn't it super cute? Love it. We're gonna do our color now before we do our punching because when I first made this card, I um, punched them out and then I stamped the color on and that's just not the good way to do it. So I've got Lemon Lime Twist here and I need to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, Kathy, the Wishing You Well stamp set is on the carryover list. I did mention that, that it's carrying over. So you will be able to get it after the holiday mini catalog is retired. And I'm so happy because that's such a nice set. And there we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, now that's those are the solid images for the big butterfly. Oh, we need to do it here too. So let me demonstrate again. <laughs> See if I can get this good. I did really good earlier today. Oh, that's a little off. Darn it. It's hard because I can't really get my head in here because you guys are in the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, good enough. Again, I'll redo this one because I send these out to you guys with prizes and stuff. So I don't want to send you a card that's kind of crummy. I didn't have any problem making any of these earlier today. So this is a really easy stamp set to do this with. It's just that I can't quite get my head in there all the way because my camera is blocking my access. The camera's blocking my access. Oh, there we go, that one turned out great. Okay, then we're gonna bring in, this is called the Butterfly Duet Punch. And oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to stamp my body first. Do all your stamping first and then punch it out. This is the big antenna and bodies and this is the little antenna and body. I didn't use the little antennas, but I will use the big antennas right here. Oh, how about the body first? <laughs> yeah. There we go. And then here comes those antennas. Da, 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 da. Yay! Okay, and then we're gonna do that big body on this big butterfly. And the little body on the little butterfly. And then we'll punch them out. Okay, here we go. And these fit in here just perfectly. Get it? Lined up. Hang on, I gotta look at both of them. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do this little butterfly. There we go. Let me close this up before I drop things in it. Oh, where's my, did you guys see? Oh, here's my circle. I gotta do that, I gotta stamp that up yet too. I chose the greeting that says, the good things in life are better with you. Oh, I got black ink on there. <laughs> Is this like, do you guys deal with all this too? Because like, 
I seem to like have a disaster like every time I stamp. And you know what? You just need to roll with all that because it just happens. Here we go. We've got dimensionals here. Then where's that flax? Here's my flax ribbon. And I need about 10 inches of this. But I'm just going to go back and forth here just like this and cut this off. Now, I don't want my ribbon to be this wide and this is why I love this flax ribbon because you can cut right down the center of it and only use half and it looks fantastic. So I did, um, I did this for all the online club cards that I sent out. So it's not hard. And I made a ton of those, went out this week, or last week, I should say. There we go. So I'm gonna use this, this for something else, but this one I'm gonna use right here. And I'm gonna grab some of my tear and tape because that is going to hold this down for me. And I'm gonna just use a piece about this big. So you want, it, you want it to not be bigger than your circle, right? Because you don't want this to show. Piece of tear and tape, because I because that's really strong. That's why I chose that. And I'm gonna angle my end. And I'm gonna go just like this. I want this to be over the edge just a little bit. Push that down. This makes it really easy to do this, you guys. I was weaving this back and forth and then using regular tape, but if you put some tear and tape down there, it just makes it a lot easier because you know you only have two hands, and sometimes as stampers we need four hands. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, and again, yeah, keep those stamps rolling. <laughs> Does it fray? Um, no, this won't fray. I mean, you can pull it apart, but if you don't want it to fray, it will not. You can do lots of things with this ribbon. This is just one little example. Okay, here comes our butterflies. I'm going to get out my mini dimensionals here. These are just easier to work with. Regular size would work on this big butterfly, but I need the minis for the little butterflies. So I'm just going to use the little ones on all of them. So I'm putting mini dimensionals on my butterflies. This particular um, suite of products is going to be hot. Like, I think extremely hot. Like, crazy, fun. Here we go with our butterflies. I'm just going to do this butterfly here. This little butterfly right here. Oh my gosh, aren't they just adorable? This little butterfly here. And then I have one more thing that I wanna do to this card, and that is use these Gingham Gala adhesive backed sequins. I've got some here. Look at how cute these are. Half of them are circles and half are flowers. And they come in all these different colors. Oh, this one is like a little iridescent one. Oh, from that. Here's the purple, and then we've got the Grapefruit Grove, kind of pink looking. These are just so, so precious. And I'm going to take one of the flowers, and of course when you buy these, you can use as many sequins as you want, <laughs> but I'm just going to use one here. And then here's the inside of our card, and again, I'm going to fix this because I can't send this out to you looking like this. Lots of, lots of mistakes tonight. But anyways, what do you guys think? Isn't it so, so cute? And you saw how easy it was. I'm really very impressed with this butterfly, like um, stamping it. And then, could you see coloring in? You could color these in with markers. Oh my gosh, it would be just so, so beautiful. If you like to color, this is fabulous. If you don't like to color, you've got the stamps to give you color in your butterflies. All right, are you ready to see the other colors that I made? Hang on, let me get some of this stuff pushed to the side. And close this up. Oh, you know what? 
I'll save this for another video. I was going to do something with that black scrap, but we'll do it another time. Got all about it because it was a it was a a thought an afterthought after I already made my original card. I'm like, ooh, but I'll keep that for another another time. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ta-da! <gasps> we have Daffodil Delight and Grapefruit Grove and Balmy Blue and Highland Heather. What do you guys think? I know, they're so fun, aren't they? All right, so here is the other card that I made tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to be back next Sunday. That is going to be, oh, I need to put a new calendar up here. Um, that is going to be January 6th. And maybe we'll do some of these fun cards that I showed you tonight. I'll show you how to do some of these because these are really neat. I have some really cool ideas sitting over here waiting for me to use. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about the new mini catalog. I am super excited. Um, did I show you guys the tote? I think I showed you guys the Stamparatus bag, right? This fits your Stamparatus bag perfectly. It's got all kinds of pockets in it. This is an accessory for the Stamparatus, and it's available. It's got a carrying thing for your shoulder or like a little purse handle. This is really cool. And then we have this tote bag that is going to be available to order with the um, discount shopper kit starting January 3rd for the public. And look at all these compartments in here. These Velcro in and out. You can take all of these out. It's also got a carry strap. Pockets galore. Punches fit in here. These are just, oh my gosh, fantastic. This is going to be available with your discount shopper kit starting January 3rd. So we will, t you know, you can watch for more information on my blog about that because I will um, be sharing that. But you're going to have two options when Celebration starts on January 3rd. You have option number one, you get $175 worth of Stampin' Up! products for only $99. And option number two, you get $175 worth of Stampin' Up! products and the exclusive Craft and Carry Tote, which I just showed you, valued at $50 for just $129. So, we will be doing a lot of talking about that because if you have a big wish list coming up in that Occasions mini catalog, you are far better off ordering the discount shopper kit. You get so much stuff for such a little amount of money. There's no shipping on it, so you don't have to pay for shipping. And you can get that tote bag for only $30 is what they're adding to the price of the starter kit. And you get to shop at a discount. You get a minimum 20% discount right off the bat with all your future orders, okay? And that increases as time goes on. Um, and you, you know, it has to do with a lot of things, but you get a minimum 20%. And you can join my team where you will have access. I also have a private Facebook group for my team members. And we do a monthly meeting each month. And I Facebook, I broadcast that through Facebook Live. So no matter where you are in the United States, you can watch it. You can participate. You have a chance to win door prizes. And I give away a lot of good stuff at those meetings. So there's a lot of things you can do with um, when you join my team as a discount shopper or a business builder. I can help you build a business because um, that's what I'm here for is to help you build a business or to keep you keep you on the straight and narrow with your discount shopper discount. <laughs> okay, you guys, did anybody have any further questions for me? Don't forget to share the video, whether you're watching this on Facebook or later on YouTube. I do upload these to YouTube. Um, push that, click on that share button. That really helps me out. Leave a comment, hit the like button on both different platforms. That is very beneficial for me. Um, if you have any questions after I'm done being live here, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me at kelly at a stamp .com through email. You can leave messages on um, Facebook for me. I do check that frequently. 
Um, email is the best way because I can mark those as unread and important so that if I'm out someplace and I see that come in, I can't answer you right now. I will when I get home. So that's always nice too. I want you guys to have a wonderful new year. I don't think we're going to even do anything <laughs> new year, which is fine with me. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe I'll go over to my mom's house, but she's got plans for New Year's Eve with her lady friends. She is the official lobster cooker. She makes the best lobster, and they are all having lobster at her friend's house. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Happy New Year to all you guys, too. I wish everybody a very healthy and happy New Year. And um, be careful if you're going out. Stay out of trouble. You know what I mean. <laughs> Have a good time. Embrace life. Yeah. Life is short. Embrace it. Make the most out of it. Okay, you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you back here um, next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Bye-bye.